Hi guys, welcome to the 17th episode of Forex for Beginners. This is the last episode in the series and I'm going to introduce the trading for for those who think they know the basics. So on the next series i'm going to be covering order blocks what are they and how you can actually use them to be profitable how you can analyze and predict the future of the market before it even happens so yeah let's get back to today's business which is traders dynamic index also known as the tdi so the TDI was designed by Dean Malone for assessing market state and finding trade signals. It is made basically from three indicators. It is made from the relative strength index, the RISI, which shows the strength and volatility of the market. It also comprises of the Bollinger Bands, which assess oscillation amplitude of price. And then lastly, it is moving averages, which give signal line and market baseline. So this gives, so the, active, the moving average, the active, the market baseline, and also they are crossover gives a signal so the tdi is a complex indicator that can help with price sentiment entry signals exit signals and detection of market volatility especially if we are now dealing with news all this i will explain in the next video series so perhaps this is the only indicator you ever need. So if you were using many indicators such that you can't even see the chart, sometimes you only need your eyes to read the chart. You only need your, the eye, your eyes. You don't need to overcomplicate things and stuff like that. Just use your eyes to analyze what's happening and it will be easier if you do that with if you also use the TDI. So it is so components of the TDI. So like I said, the TDI is an RSI based in gate, meaning if you look at the previous video where I talk of trading di divergence, I was mainly focusing on the use of RSI in divergences. Now that I introduce the TTI, which is an RSI based indicator, this should work hand in hand with the information you have received from the previous video. So it is an RSI based indicator, consists of a red, yellow, blue, and green line. The green line is the price line, which is a simple moving average with period two applied to RSI data which is which with the RSI with period 18 then there is a yellow line then we have the yellow line which is the market baseline and then we have got the blue lines which are called the Bollinger Bands line or the bands and then we have got a red line which is called the signal line so also the TTI has got three levels which is the level 68, level 32 and the level 50. This is very important especially the fifth for if you want to be learning other things you can just search 50-50 trade you understand what I'm talking about. And also, if we are now looking at the level 68 and 32, 
where you be focusing on what we call shark fins these are just important things to note so how do you set up a the TTI indicator on a mobile phone on an MT5 or an MT4 <coughs> so I've put a link for download on the description for this book or you can also search on YouTube other um, how to set up but I think from the book it will be straightforward and then on the PC also I've put the download link of the TTI for MT5 uh, unfortunately I don't have an MT4 version because I mainly use the MT5 for trading derive so once you download you just double click assuming that you've installed the MT5 for PC you just double click on the on the downloaded application or setup then it will automatically be installed to your MT5 then you can start customizing or I will, if you inbox me if you contact me you can receive how to I can assist you in the setting up of the TTI so they are so TTI has got entry patterns so like I the reason why I had to put divergence first was to emphasize that divergence is the key to trading divergence is very important so the TTI since it is an RSI based indicator it will definitely trade using the what the divergence pattern so entries are signaled by cross of a signal line the red line in the what in the in the green line so in the green in the red line cross that's a signal it means buy or sell but then you have to note that there are certain places we expect you to take trades and there are other specific places you are not supposed to be what to be taking trades i will send this as we go how you can trade shark fins on the next so that you keep on being interested on the channel so there are basically two setups which are very important on the TTI so these I have grouped them so two setups which are very important include the shark fin related divergence set up in the MPL bounce related divergence so right let's take for example the reason why I'm including this alright you see as we go so for entries these are the this is one of the setups which I trust so if you can see we have got higher high and then a, an even higher high and then on the TTI we have got a what the first one and then we have got a lower what a lower high this is basically divergence and if you see this setup it may indicate that we are now going down for real and then we've got an MPO bounce and what I mean I said the yellow line the yellow line this yellow line this one this yellow line is called the what MPO so we've got price so the first leg as i highlighted is slightly lower the second leg so the price 
is forming lower lows while least the rsi when i'm saying the rsi or the price line this is the price line this green one green one here green one this is the price line or rsi line and then the red one is the what is the signal line so we can tell from the chart or price that it is forming lower lows and lower high while least the tti is forming higher a higher high so this is basically divergence we've got price moving in that direction and then tti moving in that direction like i alluded with these arrows so looking at this this is a what a divergence an mpo and it's a divergence so if you are going to be trading on tti especially following this it has to be a, to be a what a divergence setup and please note that's why i said mpo bounce related divergence it has to be a divergence because a tti is a what is an rsi based indicator now top down analysis using what using a tti so these are one of the hacks which i use in order to time an mpo i'm going to be talking about mpo bounce on the next coming videos and you need to focus or write these things down so how do you know that price will form an mpo bounce it is very very simple guys it is very very simple so we've got let's say price so let's focus on this window price is forming higher high higher low higher high broke off structure there it came back on the tti tti let me use a different color price move down i want to focus on this part move below the yellow line and was retesting to reach the what the yellow line which is the mpl market baseline so in order to term this you just go to the smaller time frame from which you are you think you get an mpo so if you are losing if you are using an m15 time frame you go on m5 on m5 what you're going to see is that what is that shark fin related divergence like i alluded here like i alluded we can appreciate that that this this first leg on this one was a what was a shark fin and then it came it started to form what high, lower highs while least price was still moving in this direction on tti the price was moving in that direction so in order for you to time an mpo bounce you just go on the time frame which is which is smaller than the one you are using looking at the standard what the standard time frames and then you see so for you to properly time in mpo bounce just go on the time frame which is smaller than the one you are using and then look for a shark fin related divergence and you will be a beast in actually anticipating an mpo bounce so why is why is top down analysis important it helps time the mpo bounces when you expect them so let's say you are looking at the time frame and you think price will form a what an mpo bounce simply go to the time frame which is smaller than the one you are analyzing with and then you will see a shark fin followed by a divergence pattern or a divergence with the shark fin and then it will be simple you can enter there and you see price will be reversing on the mpo or if you see the green line touching the yellow line and you think it will form an mpo definitely if you see a shark fin related divergence 
as described on this video you never go wrong thank you guys please subscribe please subscribe